Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, filming here from the beautiful Sierra Nevada. It's really cold in the morning. Bitcoin hoodie, Bitcoin movement, beanie, guys. Yes, that's how you look on a ski piece if you're a Bitcoiner. Now, in today's video, guys, I have four amazing charts. Of course, talking about the huge dip that we saw that I said to you yesterday, 60K. This is the moment to buy the dip. Stop crying, start buying. I will show you charts why you should be buying. Of course, a trading tip, travel tip, some live advice. Yes, answering one of the questions and talking about the news because you could have bought Bitcoin at $8,900 yesterday. Yeah, crazy dip. Let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin today. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is of course the four hour chart, like you used. Uh, on this four hour chart, we can see that Bitcoin is dipping even below that green line that I was talking about in yesterday's video. This is not very positive. We can see these wicks very large at the moment, and we can see this new green candle being built over here. Uh, but we did close a four hour candle down below it and a second one as well. Um, I will slowly zoom out to the one day channel to show you also there that it looks a little bit less bearish because this looks very bearish if you look at the chart. But uh, on the indicator, we can see that the white line is the level of 32. That's a very um, low level, guys, over here. Sorry. Oop, let's do it like this. It's a 32 level. Uh, so there is always, if you zoom out, look, we can see, look, moments that we go down below that level over here. But then we will go up again. So there will always be a reversal. We can't go down below the zero level. So at the moment we are at 32. We can even uh, fall to 24 uh, kinds of levels. But then we will return up again. Also on the bottom um, indicator part, we can see that the yellow is decreasing already. The green, red and the orange line are going up slowly again. So I can see a small reversal in the market at the moment on the four hour chart. If we break this level, look at the green line is at the top of this volume. Of course, the bottom of that volume over here is still support, and as you can see. So maybe I should, instead of the green line, have uh, drawn a, a box. But if we look, um, the volume could go all the way till there. So in between here, I still see it as a support area and we can still go back to the top again. If we break these levels, here the bottom level is 61k, yes, then we can even fall down back to 50k. I don't see this happening and I will show you a few charts why I don't see that happening. If we zoom out to the daily chart, it looks a little bit less stressing. Look how beautiful we are still moving up and we look how we moved up over here and we had a pullback and we went up again. And now we are experiencing a pullback. Can that pullback go all the way to that green line, the 50 day moving average? Yes, that can. And it's 56K. That green line could be the support line during this bull market. The red line is a 200 day moving average. It's around 40K. So it will be very difficult for Bitcoin to go below those levels. Again, I'm not trying to scare you guys. I don't see this happening. The red line, I could see the green line happening because if we look back into the previous bull market, now let's make the chart a little bit messy. Look over here. This was a 2020 top over there. That green line was support. We came back to it, we went up, we came back to it, we went up, we came back to it, we went up, we came back to it, we went up. When we broke it, that was essentially the top over there. We had another bounce and again we broke it. Then we came back down below it and it became a resistance line. So this green line on the daily chart, every candle is a day, is an important line. And it is not bad if we visit that line, that will be the ultimate opportunity to buy the dip. That's also my lesson for the day, buy these dips. Don't wait. But I will come back to that in the trading dip. On this chart, guys, you can see something way more important. On this chart, you can see that this area up here, there, 70k, if we visit that area, there will be a lot of liquidations of the shorts. These are the liquidations of the lungs. We are almost went through the, all of these liquidations of the lungs. This has already happened. Now we will visit the top again over here to liquidate all the shorts that have been building up. So yes, always look at the liquidation levels. And there's a lot of websites where you can do it. Here is one of them. And yes, there is a lot of liquidation levels between 68k and 70k. So I do believe we will visit that again. This is the reason why we dumped a little bit more than usually, because if we look at the spot ETFs, we can see that Grayscale dumped a shitload of Bitcoins, 9,500 Bitcoins. Now, there was only accumulated around 7,000 Bitcoins in total. 
So the end result was the dumping of 2,221 bitcoins. So that needs to be very clear. There is still a lot of selling pressure of Grayscale. They still didn't sell all their bitcoins. So there will be days that they will be selling a little bit more and that will dump the price a little bit. Because BlackRock, Fidelity, ARK, Bitwise, Vanek, Velkire, Ivesco, Franklin Templeton and Wisdom Tree are not buying enough of the bitcoins to, to have a bigger inflow than an outflow. So the outflow was bigger than the inflow and that creates selling pressure and that creates of course a dip in the bitcoin price. Let's see if BlackRock again will continue to accumulate more bitcoins. You know, we see that on Sunday and Saturday they are not accumulating bitcoins. The day there, Friday 2000, 4000, no 6000 yesterday was a shitload of bitcoins but 9000 were being dumped by Grayscale. So that is the reason. Now, we have this chart. Now we're going to zoom out a little bit to give you a more relaxed feeling. This chart is showing you all the bull market cycles. So we have this light blue one over here, 2013, the 2017 and the 2020 cycle. And we have now that 2024 is pinkish, this is over here, there. We are at that level. Now if you look and compare this one to the previous bull cycles, Yes, here, the yellow one, we had a small dip. Can you see it at that moment? And then, bam, we went up. The orange line had a small dip. Bam, we went up to 70k. The blue line didn't have a dip, this continued going up over there, one top, two tops. Now the question that everybody is asking himself is like, what kind of, what kind of bull market are we gonna have? Are we gonna have a double top like this one, go up, like to the end of the year, all the way till, for example, 90K or 80K, and then fall down again to in 2025, make another top. That could be one of the movements. Or I'm gonna do like 2017, just keep making new all-time highs all the way there till we reach a new top above 100K. Or do we do the 2020 copy? Do we go like a double top structure that we go up to 69K that we did, and then again, another top. So it's all the possibilities of these cycles, guys. But the thing that is important, from this moment, there is not one bull market that we ended up lower at the end than the moment that we are in now. And that is how you need to look at the chart. Whatever happened, there was a small dip, for example, in the 2017 cycle. Also a small dip in the 2020 cycle. But the end result was that we ended up way higher. So these moments of these dips over there, they are freaking you out while you should be zooming out. You should be understanding this is the ultimate opportunity to buy the dip. Because the bull market is not over. We are not going to go down from this moment. There is not going to be a movement like this. That is not going to happen. We are going to go maybe down a little bit, up somewhere, somewhere. That is how the bull markets move. But at the moment, they are shaking out the weekends. And that is what you also beautifully can see here on the uh, spiral chart by uh, the rational route. This one, of course, showing us always where exactly will be the halving. The halving will be here. We are at the moment there. And it's spiral that works that we continue these lines and go wider and wider. So the halvings will be here. The top will be somewhere over there. And the bottom will be somewhere over there again. So if we would continue this line that we are seeing at the moment, and for example, we would move like this. This is how it, it, the spiral normally works. Around the halving, we would end somewhere there. And then it works up. Maybe sometimes it comes down, but there's also my fingers that are not working perfectly. And then maybe here, bam, 100k level. You see? All-time highs. Something like that. So this is how these lines normally work. So that is how you zoom out. And you can see, yes, we are not near the all-time high yet, because they always happen somewhere over here. And the bottom is always after that one, after 12 months, and the halving is over here. So we end up each halving a little bit higher. So next halving, 2028, we will end up again a little bit higher, and that would be between 100k and 1 million. Zoom out. Take Bitcoin as a long-term play. Danger, yes. Short-term volatility, guys. But that's what you want as a trader. You want to be able to trade Bitcoin. You need Bitcoin to go up and down. Normally, in a bull market, we dip like six times, 20%, some 40% in 2017. There is nothing wrong with this dip. This is not even 20% yet. This is a buying opportunity. Please understand this. 
you must not freak out, you must zoom out. Stop crying, start buying. I will keep repeating it. This is the dip you have been waiting for, around 60K. We were at 75K almost. You were like, oh, I will never be able to buy back Bitcoin at 60K. You are now able to buy Bitcoin back at 60K. And you now are afraid to buy because you think, ah, we will drop to 50K or to 40K. Now let me give you one big advice. Of course, it would be amazing to buy Bitcoin back 10K cheaper. But what if Bitcoin jumps 20 to 30K now in the next two weeks? And you miss that run of 30K up or 40K all the way to 100K because you wanted to buy Bitcoin 5K or 4K or 10K cheaper. You will be missing out on that massive run. So always look at the risk reward ratio. And at the moment, 60K is a 20% dip. That is a dip you've been waiting for. Now you should be adding to your portfolio, dollar cost average. I don't see us dipping to 50K, man. I saw even a post to 12K again. These are the bears. Don't let them scare you. Buy every Bitcoin dip. And that is also the trading tip for the day. Buy the dip. I will keep repeating it. Buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the Bitcoin dip, BTC movement, Bitcoin, buy the dip, and buy the dip again. <laughs> this is the only thing you need to do. We are at 60K. This is your moment to buy Bitcoin at 60K and maybe even make 40K profits when we reach 100K on each Bitcoin. It is very windy. Sorry if the sound is bad, guys. <clears throat> I should have done it inside like yesterday, but I want to be outside. But this is the moment for you all out of there to buy this dip. So the trading tip for today, not fancy, not difficult, buy the dip. The travel tip for the day, guys. Yesterday I was uh, walking in town here. Uh, they have all these kind of shops and here they sell the Leatherman multi-tool knife, you know? I talked about it a few weeks ago and it's this multi-tool knife, the Leatherman. We've always had it with us during our travel because you can use it for multiple things. Uh, probably that's why it's called a multi-tool. Uh, I'm going to buy today a new one because the old one, yeah, that was like 20 years old. This new one, I'm going to buy it here today because you can even use it here while skiing in Sierra Nevada. You know, you can always have your screwdriver, your knife, you know, it always comes in handy. I know they are a little bit expensive. They are around like $100 or something. But you know, the first one we had survived over, I think, 20 years now. So time to buy a new one. So the travel tip for today, buy yourself a Leatherman multi-tool because that always comes in handy. Let's jump into the next part. The question for today was, Didi, I see a lot of tweets that there will be a brick wall at 80K that we won't be able to break that 80K level. Now, let me be clear. Nobody has a crystal ball. Also, those people telling you that there is an 80K brick wall don't have a crystal ball. And yes, there is a lot of resistance at 80K and probably also a lot of resistance at 100K and also probably a lot of resistance at 110K, but that is Bitcoin. The more liquidity comes into the market, the more Bitcoin will move up. And we have seen that yesterday was one of those days that there was not that many spot ETF being bought. There was a dump by Grayscale. So there was more outflow than inflow, which of course causes the dip. We need to have more inflow than outflow to go up. So as long as people keep buying Bitcoin and they're not selling Bitcoin, that is when Bitcoin moves up. And there is no person on this world that can tell you, yeah, at 80K there is a brick wall, there is resistance. But resistance is there to be broken. I've been in this industry now since 2013. There was resistance at $1,200. There was resistance at $20,000. There was resistance at $70,000. And we have been breaking all those resistance levels. So yes, there can be a brick wall, but those walls are there to break them. And when we break them, we go and create new all-time highs. So don't let them fool you. Of course, I also saw those videos that maybe this bull market could go only to 85 or 90K, all possible. But it doesn't mean it is going to happen. It means that we need to look at the charts at that moment. And if the charts tell us at that moment, yes, the top is in, then we take our profits. Then we exchange to stable coins. US dollar tether, DAI or USDC. But before that the indicators tell us to sell, we are not selling. We are just analyzing the charts. When all the indicators start to flash, sell, sell, sell. That is the moment when we hit a brick wall. That is the moment when we start to take profits. The news for today, guys, is about BitMEX. I've been trading on BitMEX for many years in the beginning of my Bitcoin career. 
I left BitMEX for a reason, because I just don't understand how they can always have these strange issues and wigs down to exactly all the liquidation levels. Now yesterday something really strange happened, because BitMEX had a wig all the way down to 8,900 US dollar per Bitcoin. So you could have bought Bitcoin at 8,900 US dollar on BitMEX yesterday. This, this is what I call a scam wig. And of course, BitMEX is telling us, yes, there was a certain person dumping 400 Bitcoins and that wicked the Bitcoin price down all the way to 8,900 US dollar. But in my opinion, that's really strange that an exchange with so much experience can still have a will dump 400 Bitcoins and have that create a wick all the way to 8,900 US dollar. You couldn't say this wick on all the other exchanges, only on BitMEX. So sometimes I'm like, okay, this industry still is a little bit like, hmm, you know, maybe there was a lot of buy orders by a friend at 8,900 and 10,000 and 15,000, and maybe the wick uh, accidentally went there, and that's how they multiplied their Bitcoins. I didn't know what is behind it, but it feels kind of shady. Like a 400 Bitcoin dump all the way down, to 8,900. If you compare that to all the other industries, Great Scale has been dumping thousands, ten thousands of Bitcoin. We didn't even see Wix to 8,900. So that means something is off on BitMEX. So for me, Bybit is still the best exchange out there. If you want to trade, please trade on Bybit. Sign up using the link down below because you get a bonus up to 30,000 US dollar plus a few extra bonuses because you use the Bitcoin family link. And of course, there is a lot of competitions going on now. I think there's one competition where you can win up to 4 million US dollar at this moment. So you need to sign up to Bybit. Leave all the scam exchanges, leave them alone, and sign up to Bybit, a trustable exchange. I want you all to give this video a thumbs up now. But now my thumbs are free. I don't know what we have in gloves. I can't do that right now. And he's freezing cold. It's windy. The sun still needs to rise. You can see it up there on the hill. That's where the sun comes up. And it goes all the way over there. The sun sets in there.